All you have to do is take a section of hair from right here, as usual, and then just damp your hair. Like, ooh, this is now a good sprayer. It actually sprays my hair very nicely. So once you have your hair damp, what you're going to be doing is you're going to take the straw and then wrap, begin to wrap your hair around it. Curl it up. So from right here, I'm going to be pinning it down using a bobby pin. I'm just going to put that right over there. Secure that in place. And then for the rest here, all I do when I get into the ends right here, I kind of bend the straw to seal the tip of my hair. I bend the straw to seal the tip of my hair. And then I use another bobby pin to actually um, pin it right there. You can use a bobby pin or you can actually use an elastic band. But I find the bobby pins are like a lot more easier to remove later on, so yeah. Okay, so now you're gonna look cray cray like this. So just in case if you um, get to the point where you don't have any more place to like pin this on your head, this is what you're going to be doing. And all you have to do, of course, is to damp your hair. You guys, I finally got a good sprayer. <laughs> Wrap your hair around the straw. Okay, okay, so now once you get here, just fold, of course, fold the end, the tip of the straw and then secure it with a bobby pin. Just to make sure that this is really fully secured because I have really stubborn ends, I'm gonna add um, another bobby pin. Now, what I'm going to be doing with this one right here because I can no longer pin it up there because that's like too full now so what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to bend the end of the straw as well just like that the top part and then secure it with a bobby pin so it should look like that okay so now the other method is we're just going to do the same thing on the method that we did on the method three it's just that we have to we're just going to replace the um, midget clamps using bobby pits and so of course damp your hair extra and wrap your hair around Once you get here, just fold the ends as well and then fold it again in the middle and secure it using a bobby pin. So you should have something looking like that. I look really funny, don't I? Hmm? I will do this all over my hair and let you guys see the result. You can see so yeah. So now let us see the result. So of course Alright, so, and yes, you can start it off from right here, 
actually started mine a little bit up there, so... And that's actually the same as method number three, but this time we didn't use any clamp. Though, however, one of the things here was really not cooperating. One of my ends here are being stubborn and it won't hold the... And the bobby pins can't hold it alone because it was rebelling. It was just like out, getting out of place. So what I did um, in one of them, I actually just kind of like clamped the end just to help it with, with a clamp because it was... It was really rebelling, so yeah. But for the rest of my hair, they went perfectly fine except for that one end. How it looks like from right there. As you guys can see, I used the other method and the curls just started from right here. So now if you want, if you want the curls to start above here, then I suggest you use the method that we just used on, on my this side of hair. I like the result on the method that we used on this hair, on this side of hair, rather than this side of hair. It kind of looks the same anyway, but I prefer this one because it was easy to put on and it was also easy to remove. And the curls are sort of like really defined and yeah so now I'm just going to be doing an update on the no heat curls for people who have short hair the part six is going to be slightly delayed and I'm going to perform um, several no heat hair tu hair tutorials on her hair and um, and actually have sometimes it actually takes time because I have to experiment on her hair and as well because as I've said we all have different hair textures and I would list the specific um, no heat hair tutorials specifically for people who have short hair as well some of the no heat curls are not going to probably because you know if you have short hair and if you do this it rubs you off of the length of your hair and you know that's why sometimes people would be like I have really short hair and then I try this and then my hair turned into like a huge puff so yeah, I'm gonna look for ways for people who have short hair on how they can curl their hair with no heat but you know using different methods. So next week probably or next next week I'm going to introduce another method again for you guys and of course for the people who have short hair but I'm also going to do other videos as well. So probably once a week I would put up a no heat hair tutorial and or yeah for the next one week or two weeks because I actually experimented first before actually making um, a video because I want to I want to give more tips on like how to make it work and how to make it function on your hair so yeah that's it and yep y'all know the result of this and I've actually just separated the curls a little bit so they kind of look like this and I'd soon be posting because a lot of you have been asking for makeup tutorials on how I did my makeup on like the first clip of the video. So I'm gonna make makeup tutorials coming up is going to be um, also reviews as well. So yeah, I will see you all in my next video and God bless you. Bye!